Hi, my friend, it's Pat Sloan here. Happy Friday. So it is Starlet Day and Library Quilt Day. And I'm gonna tell you about the mystery quilt for Christmas coming up. Plus I got loant, uh, loant? <laughs> I was loant, I was lent a quilt from the Fat Quarter Shop to share with you which includes a giveaway but we're gonna do that part last so you want to stay till the end okay so we are on summer starlet here she is what a beauty right so it is from the fat quarter style book and all the quilts in here are done with fat quarter bundles and they come in multiple sizes here's another one of the ones in the book it is such a great book and we're doing the cover the cover girl the cover girl is us uh, for the starlet and so we've already sewn and you can sew together that's the top row minus one block which we will be doing today and so i want to remind you that you can sew your rows as we're going along like this and there is a sash in between so like today when i sew on the um light purple up here whoops can you see it there we go when i sew the light purple one on then I can cut the sashing and put it on. So like that's how I like to work on these kind because that just keeps it moving. And then you're not at the end with just a pile of blocks, you know, just a pile of blocks and then have to do all the work of setting it. It's so much easier to set the blocks as you go. Do them and keep track. So I could sew four of them uh, from what we've done already. Then the other was grouped into twos, twosies. So we've got this two, which is for this row right here. And then I have this two, which is at the other end of that row. And today, when we make this, this purple, we're gonna make the purple and that teal. Um, well, here's the other purple. Where's the other purple? Yeah, purple up there, teal, and the teal down here. But this purple now, can, and I can make this row. So I'll be able to make the top row, finish it, and the third row, and then I can put the sashing on the bottom of the top row, and I can put a sashing on the top and the bottom of this row. So I can do all of that this week. Uh, so the blocks are done. Here we go. This is with my porch swing fabric. So we have two purple and two of the teal, and they're all with this really great, whoops, with this really great print uh, it is such a wonderful, nice scale because it is, it, it doesn't read solid, even though it's a small print and there's a low contrast between the two shades. Uh, it, it still gives you texture and lets you see the design there. Okay, so that's the Summer Starlet. It is time, ready, ready for you to work on. So we also have, um, let's see, we're going to do the library quilt next because we're on the back side here. And, well, actually, I wanna go show you the quilt first, and then what we'll do is we'll come back over here. So we'll go look on the other side at the quilt on the wall, and then we'll come back and walk through the next unit that I'm working on, because I just wanna show you how I sort of walk through it a little bit. Okay, so we'll go to the other side. Before we get to the library quilt, here is the Mikasa. So I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. But it's my casa, mi casa, you can left, leave me a note. I'm sure you will anyway. <laughs> so I've, you can see the green at the bottom. These are not placed like the pattern. It's just the ones I did first. But these are going to go together so fast now that the house is done, which was also quick. A very quick, fun sew. You can buy these sew sampler boxes. This is the May box. Uh, so you, there's a finishing kit where you get the, um, you need to get the yardage for the background, you know, a light and then uh, a binding. So, oh, it's gonna be so cute. I can't wait to make more of them. I hope I sew some more today. So I wanna be able to film with this camera rather than the handheld camera. So I have both hands, I can show you some things. Uh, and I'll scroll in with this, this camera. But first, here is the original library quilt in the book. And then here I am with the, um, was it happy day, beautiful day, something like that. It's fabric line that I'm using to do the second one during our sew along. Uh, and we're on uh, the second bookshelf. And then next week and the week after will be the third bookshelf. And then we'll finish it up at the end of the month. Uh, so I um, had a lot of you who suggested lots of suggestions. 
<laughs> why didn't I audition white for the bookshelf? So why not? I don't know. My brain did not go there. It did not think of a white bookshelf. So I thought well, that's a good idea. Let's see what that looks like. And so up there right now, and I'm going to just scroll this in so that you can see, this is a grunge fabric line, which has the texture. And uh, so there you can see, so it's got, it's not just white, white. It has kind of that modeled look, uh, and it really gives a really nice texture. Um, so, and it's, I think it's nice. I think it goes. Is it my favorite? I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe I could do a little bit better. Um, I wish I had something like the original, which was a little skinny wide separation stripe. It's a very specific stripe that is not really that common. And so I don't have that. I don't even think that fabric line came in a light way back when it was produced many, many years ago. Uh, cause I had it in orange too, <laughs> which would not work either. Um, so I am going to switch out that background because the fabric's laying on top, you know, the, the, the blocks are laying on top of it. So let me just switch it out. I have a few other options that we can look at and see what we think. So hold on. First, I'm going to try this one. I don't think that there's enough of it, but I just want to see what this texture does. So I definitely do not have enough of that fabric, but it gives me an idea of what that texture is and whether that would be something that would be interesting or not. So there you can see it uh, fairly close. Uh, and I think once again, it's okay. It, <coughs> I like the first option better. The problem here is one, it's a pinky. It's like a pinky gray undertone. And so it's really not the right color. It's not the right color. And, and I don't have enough of it anyway. It might be a basic, I think it's a Robert Kaufman, but I am not in love with it. I would go with the other one before I went with that one. So next, this is also probably not the right color. It's kind of a taupey brown, but I'm gonna try it anyways. <laughs> so I do lean towards a bookshelf being darker, but I still like the white better than this, um, mostly because that pattern is too much. It's too bold. Uh, let me just scroll you in so you can see. It just has too much pattern. Uh, was stepping away from it like on, on camera, on camera, it looks better than it does in person. And I will be seeing it in person. So uh, that's a no-go. The other one I have to try is polka dot. And I am thrilled that I have plenty of this. It is a much older fabric line, but I bought lots of it when I bought it. And so let's see what this looks like. This would definitely need to be fussy cut so that those polka dots are straight. Okay, here's the polka dot. Now, one of the things is it is bold. <laughs> it is bold. And uh, I love that. I love that it's bold because I like to have fun with the things that I make. I don't like to make them so predictable all the time. So there's the bold. Uh, does it look like a bookshelf? Does it? That's the only problem is uh, not sure the white things, the white fabrics are looking like a bookshelf as much to me. Although one of our friends said that they didn't think, here's the plaid, that they didn't think the plaid, whoops, the plaid looked like a bookshelf. So, you know, but it looked like more of one to me <laughs> anyway. Okay. So there's the polka dot. So I don't know. I was hoping to put it up there and be wowed. That was my, that was my hope. My hope was that I put it up there and go like, oh, that's it. That's it. But, uh, that's not happening. That's not happening. Uh, the problem is, is it's kind of distracting from the books. So I'm back to either this or the plaid, which um, I did like a lot. So I'm going to put the plaid up there again. So we'll take a look. So there's the plaid again. Uh, last time I just had the strip that I cut and put up there because I had the darker plaid. Uh, there were some of you that really liked black, but black for me is much too heavy with this um, light border on it. It just, 
even like I'm, you know, like a couple black spots, you know, for books and little edges is about all I think I want to handle for that. So, okay. I'm going to put the white grunge back up there. Let's take a look at that again. So there's the plaid again. Uh, last time I just had the strip that I cut and put up there. Of course, I have the darker plaid. Uh, there were some of you that really liked black, but black for me is much too heavy with this um, light border on it. It just, even like I'm, you know, like a couple black spots, you know, for books and little edges is about all I think I want to handle for that. So, okay. I'm going to put the white grunge back up there. Let's take a look at that again. I thought, let me just see if I have a yellow that is leaning maybe a little towards that greeny, leafy color, um, which I don't know. I'm going to try this one. It's also a grunge, which means if I like it, I can probably get more or more of one that's really similar. Let's take a look. Okay. What do you think? I'm, I'm kind of liking this. It's, uh, you know, different because uh, it's adding yellow in, which isn't there. But the thing is, it adds a little brightness to it. Uh, it definitely will look like the shell. I mean, I have some definition for the shells. I'm just worried with this white one. It probably, this would probably be fine. This would be totally fine. Um, but I was looking just for the spark it up a bit. Um, if I had this kind of taupey color, I would look at that, but I just have very little of this. Just, they're all like fat quarters and it's, um, it would be hard. You know, I'd have to really be out shopping a lot and physically in the stores to go look all over the place. And that's just not, not where I want to be. What I want to do with my time right now is hunt for shelf fabric. <laughs> It's like, I, I don't need the perfect shelf fabric that badly for this. I need something that works. And that's the way I do things. You know, there are a few things that, yes, I have to have the absolute perfect. But uh, often, I need something that works. And there are many things that work. And there will be something that works to me that makes my heart go, oh, and somebody else will be like, I don't like that. Uh, so, you know, everybody is so different in what your tastes are. Um, but I'm kind of liking that. I'm, what I'm going to do is I have some grunge, um, that fabric line is called grunge, and I have a, some cards. And I'm going to see if there's something a little more muted so that I can bring that, bring it down a little bit. Because um, I'm going to have to buy it. I don't have enough, but I can order it by, because it's a, it's, a, it's a basic, so I can order it. Okay, I'm going to stick the white back up there so we can look at it at the end when we're done. And there is the, the off-white again. Uh, just before we go on back to the other side, uh, look, I, it's nice. It's nice. I probably, I might end up using that if I don't find a yellow that works uh, because it does look good. Uh, and of course that border will be up on the top. It looks like my design wall. <laughs> so to me, it looks like there's nothing there. <laughs> okay. Let's just go look at the next section of books to finish off this row. So I have the next group of blocks for shelf number two. And there's um, one that I'm going to switch out, but I thought I would tell you that, show you what I have going on before I make that decision. My library quilt that we're doing so long uh, in uh, this last month and this month is a holiday hoopla. Okay, so this one is super cute. Happy, happily ever after. And that came from this piece of fabric that one of our friends sent. I used one of the quotes in the top shelf and, or maybe on this shelf. No, this shelf already, yeah. So two on this shelf and I'll use one on the next shelf too, if I can, because it's so cute. But I love this quote here. This one is, uh, love is this, love in the, love, live in the sunshine, swim in the sea, drink in the uh, wild air, Henry David Thoreau. I, I love that, but this green is all wrong all wrong. I need to take the green off. And then I decided that black is just too heavy, much, much too heavy. So I am going to switch that one out. Maybe what I'm going to do is maybe do this bookshelf like this. Yeah. Put that one there. And then what I will do is I just pull this off because it was just a glue. I just used a glue stick to tack it down. So I just use a glue stick, but I think what I'll do is I go press it under. So like this, so that that green, and even if there's one, maybe a little tiny, but then, yeah, I think I can do it like this. 
So I may have to, what do I have to do here? This book is not tall enough. I may have to piece that fabric or look around for another piece of fabric, but something lighter than the black, that solid black. I do have it used once above, but um, I don't want to use it here. So anyway, I think that'll work. So I take, just get rid of that green on there. Okay, so that's what I'm doing for this guy. Now, before we go back over and talk some bliss, <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Um, the, uh, the mystery quilt for Christmas. So I know we're doing the Halloween mystery now. The Fat Quarter Shop does a Halloween mystery in June and a Christmas in July uh, mystery in July. Uh, and they, they will, that one now we have some information. <clears throat> Not everything, but you can pre-order the kit uh, and the supply list for the cross stitches down is out. So let me just show you a little sneak peek because it's a mystery. You only get a sneak peek. So here's a peek, but you can download the cross stitch one. The cross stitch will be um, <clears throat> about an eight inch square. The quilt will be 31 by 37. So it's not square, it's a little bit of a rectangle, 31 by 37. And uh, so it's gonna be so much fun. It will run for five weeks, the Christmas one, five weeks starting in uh, July. They do not have a date because fabric is coming in and has to be cut for these kits and da 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 da. Once, the, the, it's fairly, you know, fairly soonish when they can, they will tell us the supply list and sort of announce the start date and all of that. But you can do a pre-order for Christmas in July, particularly if maybe you don't, um, couldn't do the Halloween or you always love to do the Christmas. Anyways, I'd love to do both. Okay, off we go to the other side again to wrap up. But before we wrap up, we're gonna talk about bliss. <laughs> Here we are, a little bliss in the studio. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my goodness, I love it so much. Uh, this is a project from the Fat Quarter Shop. They sent me the quilt so that I could look at it and I could share it with you. Uh, Bliss is a project that they have out there. It is a set of patterns that came in the 2022 Sew Sampler box. So some of you who got the subscription service in 2022 will recognize it. So they have kits for it and they want to showcase and you know let you know about that and i thought oh my goodness i just needed to show you because i'm going to take a camera now and we'll go up close and look at some of the blocks here we go to look at the blocks they are so fun i love this kind of rolling stone block i think and then this one has like a plus sign in the middle that is so pretty and it's done with fig tree fabric it's got this great pinky red but i just wanted to show you the blocks up close this is one of my favorites on here I love this kind of a kind of a bow tie effect that's all the way around and then a star like a double friendship star beautiful like a lady of the lake ah so nice like this framed effect there are 12 blocks in this and they came out in the sew sampler but the interesting and fun part now is with the kit we have a code called bliss 22 and when you order the kit you get the paper copy and I'm going to show it to you of the patterns in the kit. It also has thangles. Look at this one. I like that one with the pinwheels. So look, look at this. This is kind of like a version of like the Harrisonburg block. And then here we go. So there's 12 blocks and then there's the setting. And let me pull back. Hold on. The setting is this wonderful, wonderful big plus sign and then these four blocks. It is such a unique setting and just absolutely spectacular. Um, and so uh, I love it, love it, love it. So let me just show you the, the kit and the pattern. Okay, when you buy the kit, you enter Bliss 22, uh, and that's at my website today and in the description box below, and you will get the whole pattern set to go along with it. You can also buy these if you missed out on the box uh, when, if you, weren't, if you weren't a subscriber and you now want to have it. So you can buy just the patterns. And so the patterns are pattern cards like this. So it has the directions like so, and then the layout is the plus, the big plus sign with these four blocks and that wonderful, wonderful border. So that's the whole layout and it's a little booklet. So you got a little booklet on, on how to do that. Now the kit looks like this, ta-da! And guess what, didn't I tell you to wait till the end? The Fat Quarter Shop is giving away three, three, 
<laughs> kits to my viewers, ah, to my community. So three of you can win a kit like this. So you need to enter at my website, uh, and you that's where you enter it will leave it open I'll leave it open for a week so you can enter uh, and so next Friday evening I will pick a winner and three people will win a kit and that'll include that'll include the pattern when you do when you win you get you get the whole thing uh, <laughs> okay so I wanted to share that with you the fat quarter shop has done an amazing job and it is just such such a cool design okay you are going to make where's my stuff you're going to make your summer starlets your starlet blocks okay you got four of these you're going to be setting your rows and then talk to me about my library quilt talk to me so here it is over here behind hidden behind there but tell me what you think about the different border um, different um, bookshelf fabrics all right i love you Mwah. thank you for being here in the sloan zone i will see you online